In the ancient world of Israel, few names strike as much fear and loathing as that of Jezebel, a queen who rose to power through marriage, but whose ambition, cunning, and ruthlessness would lead her to be remembered as one of the most wicked figures in all of Scripture. This is the story of Jezebel, the queen whose name has become synonymous with evil. Jezebel was born into royalty, the daughter of Ethbal, king of the Sidonians. Her homeland, Phoenicia, was a center of wealth and power, but also of idol worship, particularly the worship of Baal, a pagan deity. When she married Ahab, the king of Israel, she brought her gods, her beliefs, and her ruthless ambition with her. But her influence would soon extend far beyond the walls of the palace. Ahab, captivated by Jezebel's beauty and strong will, allowed her to establish Baal worship in Israel. She built altars, erected temples, and employed hundreds of prophets to spread her religion. But Jezebel wasn't content with just spreading her beliefs. She sought to silence any opposition, particularly from the prophets of Yahweh. Among those who stood against Jezebel was the prophet Elijah, a man of God who denounced the idolatry and corruption that Jezebel had brought into Israel. The tension between Jezebel and Elijah reached its peak on Mount Carmel, where Elijah challenged the prophets of Baal to a divine duel. The outcome was a dramatic display of Yahweh's power as fire descended from heaven to consume Elijah's sacrifice, while the prophets of Baal stood powerless. Enraged by the defeat and the subsequent slaughter of her prophets, Jezebel swore vengeance against Elijah, sending him fleeing for his life into the wilderness. But while Jezebel's wrath was fierce, it would not be enough to destroy the prophet, nor would it stop the tide of events that were about to unfold. As Jezebel's power grew, so did her infamy. One of the most notorious incidents in her reign was the story of Naboth's vineyard. King Ahab desired the vineyard, but Naboth, a righteous man, refused to sell his inheritance. Jezebel, ever the schemer, devised a wicked plan to get what her husband wanted. Jezebel forged letters in Ahab's name, orchestrated a mock trial with false witnesses, and had Naboth unjustly executed. With Naboth out of the way, Ahab took possession of the vineyard, and Jezebel's power and influence seemed unshakable. But little did she know, her actions were setting the stage for her own downfall. Following Naboth's murder, Elijah returned with a chilling prophecy that Ahab's dynasty would be destroyed and that Jezebel's own life would end in disgrace. He foretold that in the place where dogs licked up Naboth's blood, dogs would also devour the body of Jezebel. In time, Ahab would fall in battle, his blood licked by dogs, as foretold by Elijah. But Jezebel remained, her iron grip on the throne unyielding, even as the forces of her downfall gathered around her. Jezebel's end came in a dramatic and brutal fashion. The man who would bring about her demise was Jehu, a military commander anointed by God to destroy Ahab's house. As Jehu rode into Jezreel, Jezebel, defiant to the end, adorned herself as a queen and looked out from her palace window, taunting him. But Jehu was not swayed by her defiance. He ordered her servants to throw her from the window, and they did. Jezebel's body was left in the street, trampled by horses, and as Elijah had prophesied, the dogs came and devoured her remains, leaving nothing but her skull, feet, and the palms of her hands. Thus ended the life of Jezebel, a queen whose ambition and cruelty led to her downfall. Her story serves as a powerful reminder of the consequences of unchecked power and the divine justice that eventually prevails. Jezebel's name has become a byword for wickedness, a legacy of infamy that has endured through the ages. Thank you for joining us as we explored the rise and fall of Jezebel the most wicked queen in the Bible. Her story is just one of many in the scriptures that reveal the complexities of human nature, the dangers of idolatry, and the ultimate triumph of good over evil. 
be sure to subscribe for more in-depth explorations of biblical stories and leave a comment below with your thoughts on Jezebel's legacy. Until next time, may the lessons of the past guide you in the present.